everybody and welcome back to my channel quick bits and bobs and surprises before we get lost in all that is going on here and we are staring at my Chantilly lace that growth that is surviving is doing well but look there's some roots in there and that is what I wanted to show you we've had on and off success let me stop with the we because I speak like I have people living in my head <laughs> but I'm really really thrilled about this because this is not a very vigorous plant it's always been somewhat weak for me early days it came from Schwerta but the new growth that is trying for the second time in this growing season it's actually doing well I don't see that it's going to be anything bigger than what was before but uh, we'll take it and there's a root growing that's very important another one I've been struggling with is my Caticlia atra walker right here in the very very early days I made a video and I showed how this one was struggling never did well for me it's still not doing well but at least it's growing some roots and that is also for me very important roots are the first thing we can worry about everything else later there's no concern about this back bulb here that's hard it's old and I'll cut that off as and when I finish this video and then next to that more good news more good news yes we have Leopoldii if you remember my two cuttings that I have in one pot doing nothing for a long time and then we saw some root action and that root is doing really well it's gone right down in there we are on the way and now look at that one growth and I believe that little tiny thing there is a second new growth that is amazing if the two make it that's great if only one makes it that's fine as well I'm quite happy with that the second piece is not doing anything as of yet I may need to actually work that moss away a little bit but it's not doing anything yet they're looking rather sorry for themselves I did put them in very high light to start or kickstart something and now we are at least on our way I've put them a little bit more shaded and here my Catlia Velotina seedling from a long time ago as well I thought I'd just show you how the roots are doing really well everything's going down into the media where it belongs and I'm getting a new growth now right there so that's good news and here I have Paphiopedilum Iona and I think Iona is starting on another bloom that's fantastic very very nice doing really really well here's a quick update on the CRISPR seedling I reported on a video possibly two weeks ago nothing much has happened it's still loose in its pot but the new growth is progressing slowly albeit slowly it's progressing the moss hasn't actually gone any further I do spray it every day we've had some extraordinary windy days recently so I've sprayed it a lot to keep up with the top layer being so dry but it's fine it's fine there's no roots to be showing on the outside of the pot I think it's as slow as Cristata that's my guess you remember all my den fowls my delinquents and I had a fantastic suggestion regarding dendrobians liking smaller pots to be pot bound well basically I always thought you know I've got inorganic media and that wouldn't apply however I just thought you know what no harm no foul instead of taking up four spaces in my shelf put them all into one that way they are more pot bound and I will have them in one pot so there's developments only with one that I can see so far and this is the Burana green that is uh, coming up with two new growths so at least there's some movement there 
But all the other cuttings in here, or P oh well, hello, as we go on a discovery tour together. There's another new growth coming on a secondary piece, right down in there. By my nail and the ant. Okay, right. I'll be aware of that. The third piece, let me look before I say anything. No, there's nothing. But the fourth piece, oh my goodness, yes. Look at that. There's a little something going on down there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Let me just take that lecker bead away and give that new growth some air. So, three out of four are showing signs of something. That'll be interesting to see how this develops. And here is the one that is a pretty good piece, two pieces actually, as uh, den fowls go in a pot. This is the Thailand black. And I noticed that I have a few growths coming on this one, which is awesome. There's one down here. And there's two on this piece here. And you can see the roots growing now down in there. Wonderful. I'm going to start spraying, misting the surface here. The winds have been hot and quite forceful. I don't need this drying out. I need those roots to go in strong. So Thailand Black is doing something and I'm very pleased about that. Let's pan you over to the left. And I'm going to bring Moscom back into the game because we have a sheath. Look at that. Now, before I go doing cartwheels around the yard, because clearly I still can't do cartwheels, that's why I have the emojis. It's a good sign, not holding my breath, whether it's going to come of anything, but it's the first time it's ever produced a sheath. And that is good enough for me. And next to another first timer, look at those beautiful freckles on the leaves and the happy sap. Oh gosh, that's sticky. Look at that. This is Chunya, good life number one. First time with a sheath. At this moment, I'm watering it almost like every three days. It's drinking up its reservoir super fast. So I have to keep up. I noticed this morning when I pulled it out to have a look at it with you. It was empty again and I'm like okay a new batch of fertilizer is being mixed up because this one needs more but young yeah, good life number one. First time with a sheath I love the progress and a uh, second time with a sheath if you remember with my top guns I was showing you introducing you to some and here's one of them this is uh, African Beauty Sagarig Wax African Beauty so this sheath never came of anything, understandable. First two years in my care, it has to get acclimatized. But now we have one, another one, on a super, super strong new growth, which is as high, a tad, maybe a tad higher than the one from last year. And we are on our way. At least this plant has now got its groove going it's got its height and now it has a sheath again i hope now that it's strong enough to be able to accommodate blooming for me oh in this case blooming for us well for some little surprises i think i shall wrap it up and if i have not shown an orchid that you have seen in my collection in previous videos and you would like to know more about it, let me know. I am always happy to throw in an extra clip just for that so that you don't have to sit and wait. So yes, let me know. Anything you would like to see that you haven't seen, like to know about, and I'll be happy to accommodate. So thank you ever so much for watching. And I shall keep watching on these guys. This is certainly something I'm really looking forward to. And everybody, please have a wonderful day. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.